Hi guys, it's Erpa here and in today's video I will show you guys how to make that maxi color correction absolutely for free. The only plugins you will have to have for this tutorial is the magic bullet looks. I will leave a link to them in the description as well as a tutorial on how to download them absolutely for free. Free. And in this tutorial, we'll just show you how to make it and how to save it. But now, enough talking, let's get right into the video. So, how to make that amazing color correction is you need to drag in an adjustment clip in the effects, you just over the, uh, the clip you want to color correct it, press on it, go to open effect, and basically just search up looks. And this should pop up. Drag it and drop it. What you're gonna do now, you go to effects, press edit look, and you should have like this thingy. What you're gonna do now, you're gonna basically go to tools down here, press on it, and all of these should pop up. What you're gonna do now, you're gonna press on post, it will probably already be there, and we're gonna film print, merge you 1 1, colorista, and a shoulder, and then you're basically done with the post, so you're gonna go over to the lens, and in the lens, you're gonna drag in a lens vignette, and drag in a soft edge softer. Now it looks pretty awful, but we're gonna fix that. What you're gonna do now, you're, we're done with this, so we're gonna go to subject and basically just drag in a warm color, warm cool, I mean. Now we're basically with this, so what we will start with is basically drag this to a more, a little bit to the yellow side, not too much, a bit, you can copy these numbers if you want, but something like this, this looks pretty good, you can play around with it yourself. Then Wingate, I like to turn it up a bit, a little bit, just a little bit. Then you go to edge softener, and now it's uh, too much soften on the edges. So we're gonna just make it much bigger. Like something like this, if not more. Something like this, so just the edges are a bit blurred. And drag up the color quality to two. And basically change nothing in the shoulder, nothing in the Miyomo, nothing in colorist, nothing in film. You're basically done with the whole color correction. In my opinion, it looks really fire. So what you're gonna do now to save this is basically just press on this save button down here and name it something like, uh, I'll name it just uh, color correction. Therapy. This is my second color, like color correction I'm doing, and then just basically save, and you'll find it in your custom down here, and it will stand color correction therapy. What I just named it, and now basically you just press on this check mark down here, and you will see that it looks so much better. And it will probably lag a lot. You will not able to watch like I literally can't watch. So what you're gonna do? You're gonna right click on the adjustment clip that have the color correction and check render cache color open. Then you're gonna go to playback and go to render cache and set it to smart. That will basically, you have to wait some bit and when this line is fully blue, so when this red disappears, you can try to push through sometimes, it usually helps. It will be better. So as you see guys, here is fully blue, so it's not lagging at all. And here it is. And in my opinion, I just prefer this color correction so much. It's a bit too much blur here, I see, but this is just a tutorial, so it's okay. But you can make the blur a little bit less when you do it. And in my opinion, this looks absolutely fire. And what I suggest you do if you want the color correction on the whole montage, just drag it out so it does the adjustment clip so it's over the whole montage. And that's basically it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like, drop a sub if you're new to the channel, and Peace out guys, see you in the next video.